Thanks for tuning in to This West I-90 Drone Division. Today we are in beautiful Rochester, Minnesota, 507. Let me just give you a little pan around, show you where we are. We are at the Olmstead County Fairgrounds and we about to do at the Olmstead County Fairgrounds and we're about to do a little 501 testing. So I brought the 501 out and the H901A, the HT011A controller as well. And we're just gonna get a little, and we're just gonna do a little flying, see how far we can go. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, as you can see, we've got everything laid out on the table here. This is the H901A. As you can see, I've modded it and added a controller SMA connector so that I can add antennas, external antennas to it. This is the HT011A. This also has an antenna. This is for Wi-Fi control and 2.4 gigahertz control. We're gonna test that today. This has got 2.4 gigahertz control and this has 5.8 gigahertz uh, video, which means the video transmission is in 5.8 gigahertz. So we're going to test that today. We're going to see how far we can get with 5.8 gigahertz and we're going to see we're going to see how far we can get with this controller on 5.8 gigahertz with the FPV. <clears throat> we're going to see how far we can get with this controller on Wi-Fi and then again on 2.4 if the batteries, the test and the weather permits. Here we have the HS009 to connect to the HT011A. So as we're flying with this controller, we can get our FPV from here because we probably won't be using the app. The 501A, the 501A is able to connect to an app as well as fly FPV from the 5.8 gigahertz. I've flown it before using the app and the 5.8 gigahertz, but it's not it's not the best it's probably better to just use one or the other so we're going to test all that today let me go ahead and get a little cover on my lemon water and my caribou coffee okay that ought to keep that covered up So we're going to go ahead and bind the H501A to the H901A, which you always want to put your antennas on before you turn the unit on. And 
these are the antennas I'm going to be using for this demonstration. Gentlemen, I'm having a problem getting the drone to go into GPS. Calibrate compass, okay. Okay, it went into GPS mode. The compass is calibrated. And since there is nobody straight out this way or straight out that way, okay, we got the compass. We got the compass calibrated. We got the GPS mode on on the controller. And since there is, <laughs> the drone is showing the camera standing here. Let me just take a little pan around about, show you what's going on, what we all see. Oh, it's not even recording. Let me just go ahead and start recording. All right, the camera, is the camera from the drone is recording what we see. Okay, there is not anybody out here. Right now, there's a lot, couple of cars parked here, but I don't know where they are. They're inside the building. There are no people outside right now. So, we're going to go ahead and lift off and we're going to take a little distance test I'm going to leave the camera on so you can see what I'm doing okay it's saying the aircraft has no GPS so let me let the aircraft get some GPS Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the X4 right there on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Take off. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties with the H501A. I'm going to try it again with this controller. And if it acts up again, I'm going to switch controllers and we'll see what's happening.
trying to get it to hover. If it don't hover, I'm going to have to pack it up. It seems to be full of power and just ready to go. Okay. Um, it seems to be okay now, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to not be responding well to this controller. I'm going to shut this controller down, and I'm going to turn on the HT-011A. This drone, H501A, is more of a Wi-Fi drone, so I'm going to hook it up to the Wi-Fi on the HT-011A and see if it does any better. I have crashed this drone a few times, so it could be having some internal problems. So after I connect it to the HT-011A, if it's still having problems, I'm probably just going to shut it down and conclude this test for today. Okay, to connect the H501A, To connect the H501A to the HT011A, we are going to have to I plugged in the battery. You know, I didn't check to see if my phone was connecting with the H501A. That could have been a reason for the disturbance on the drone. I'm going to connect it on here and we'll see what happens. So you want to turn the controller on first. We're going to do the 2.4 first. Well, let's do the Wi-Fi first. And now we're going to have to start the screen recording. Okay, so now we're screen recording. 
So we're going to screen record what's happening. And then when I get everything established, I'm going to go ahead. I have to go into the app anyway. That's the purpose of me going into the screen recording. There was very little activity out here this morning. And now there seems to be pick, activity seems to be ramping up. See, look at that. It was already connected to the Wi-Fi without me even connecting it. And that could have been a big problem with the, the reason why the drone was flying like that. Okay, everything's already hooked up. So let's just go ahead and Calibrate the compass. I'm just going to go ahead and say I think I like flying this thing on the Wi Fi app much better than I do on I believe I'm going to like flying this thing on the Wi-Fi app much better than I do on this Wi-Fi control than the other controller. I'm going to turn on the screen. I'm going to turn on the HS009 and see if I can pick up any image. Okay, and I can't get any image on the HS009 because I'm using the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to be strictly on the app. So I'm going to turn the HS009 off. And I'm going to go ahead and take off with the app. Well, let me do it with the controller to make sure that everything's functioning properly. Oh, yep. Everything's functioning properly. All right, the motor is started. Go ahead and hit record. Look at that. Look at that. Totally different drone. Operating perfectly. Yep, so this drone is mostly for this controller. Okay, let's face the corner and go up. Forward a little bit. Okay, we're gonna face the corner and rise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we ain't having no problem out this drone. It's actually operating better on this controller than it has on anything I ever. It's actually just sitting stable. Let me bring it down some so we can see. Now, if I can get it to face me and sit still, this will be a miracle because it never faces me and sits still. It's like I can't stand my ugly face or something. Come a little closer, baby. Let's talk. All right. I want you to sit right here while I talk to these people about you. you try to get some of your friends, so. Okay, let's take a look at it. Look at that. Look at that, it's just hovering perfectly in place. It's not moving at all. I'm going back into the app.
Okay, and it still got me on the app. I'm gonna turn the app around. Okay, all right, everything seems to be working well. I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the distance test. I'm gonna go as far that way as I can. Well, it's not recording me. Oh, because I went out for a minute and came back in. Okay, so let me land it and let it catch up for a second. Okay, has it caught up? Okay, it's caught up. All right. Go ahead and send it out. Okay, that's at 31 meters. Let's take it up a little bit higher. Thirty meters height, twelve meters distance. Take it a little bit higher. Let's go to Dennis. This drone doesn't progress straight. It goes in a line. You see what I see. Okay, I'm at 100 meters distance, 20 meters altitude. Take a little pan around. These bugs are eating me up. I'm gonna have to move out of the shade into the sun, to the edge of the sun, okay. Do a little pan. If it were not for these bugs, this would be going perfectly. Let's see if you can find me. And there I am, ladies and gentlemen, being destroyed by bugs. Okay, the battery level is only at 40%. Let's bring it on back. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go up some. Take a look at that corn. You always want to see that corn up close? Here is a closer look at the corn. My hair is sweating, so these things are eating me up. So let's push return to home and see what happens. Okay, that's not return to home. Let's push return to home. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's returning to home. cancel that for now we still got 37 percent left so uh, let's take a little pan around well let's go up higher and take a pan around amen the 
drone seems to be pretty stable. We at 85 meters. Do a little pan. by Dennis. Okay, that's obviously not by Dennis. There is Dennis. Said that direction. The wind's not letting it go that direction very well. But before we land, let's just go up and see what we can see. And it's basically right above our head, so it's not too far from us. So all we have to do is push land. Take a pan around. Okay, the aircraft is returning to home. Okay, the aircraft is returning to home, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it saw, but we'll see soon what it saw. And I'm standing over the launch site, so it's going to come straight down on me. Let's see if we can prevent that. And as I am learning, this is the best control for this drone right here. I'm learning this now. We're just going to let it return to home and follow this course and see what happens. Unless it gets ready to hit these trees, then I'm going to have to stop it. All right, stop the recording. So coming down. <laughs> a 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it took off from right here. It took off from right here, and it came back and landed right here. I think that's pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch batteries and we're going to conduct another test. This controller right here is beast. This is the controller you want to use to fly your drone. Now I'm not using this because I'm flying it on Wi-Fi. I was using the Wi-Fi to fly it. Uh, I'm going to try to fly it next on 2.4 and the uh, Wi-Fi again. It looks like the it looks like the modern controller is not really a good controller for this one because this is a Wi-Fi drone. So I have to try more testing with the modern controller on the H501 SS. All right, drone division, we're back. Let's just check out the weather right quick. You always want to check the weather before flying. Here, the weather changes rapidly. It was just like two miles per second when I started. There's no telling what the wind is at now. It's rated to go as high as eight miles per second today. So we're going to see what it says. All right, the wind is only at three miles per second. Let's go ahead and get back to flying the drone. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to turn the drone back off. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to turn the drone back off, turn this controller back off, and start it back up again and put it on 2.4 gigahertz, and we'll see how that goes. And I also have to turn the Wi-Fi off on this phone because this Wi-Fi automatically, this Wi-Fi automatically picks up the drone's signal. So I'm gonna cut the Wi-Fi off because we won't be using the Wi-Fi. We'll be using the camera. Okay, are we still recording? Yep, we're still recording. So we're gonna be using the 2.4 gigahertz. So we'll be using this thing and this thing. We won't be using the app. So we'll just have FPV view only. So you push the bind button and the power button to command this controller to bind to the drone. And because the drone was already on, it's not binding, I'm gonna to have to unplug the drone and turn it back on. And when the drone binds to the 2.4 on this controller, it makes that noise, lets you know that everything's connected, and then it will automatically bind with the HS009. You turn it on. As soon as you turn it on. See the Hudson logo come on. Okay, it's found the drone and it's asking for a compass calibration. The drone has nine satellites. The controller has nine as well. The, the drone has 11 satellites. Okay, so as you can see, this is the bench where I'm launching from. 
the tree it's a tree shady area and there is a clearance right here from the trees and so I happen to notice this little rocky path here and this little rocky path is where I was launching the drone from from right here at the end of the rocky path it seems like a little runway in the grass and it's where the where I was launching the drone from but it was coming back too close to the tree but I noticed a little further with another place which seemed to be perfect to take the drone off from and it gives this place enough room give this drone enough room to land and this is where I'm at ladies and gentlemen let's just do a quick little pan I'm at Olmstead County Fairgrounds there's the drone I'm at Olmstead County Fairgrounds by the fairground building there's minimal activity going on today and it's pretty early so nobody's really out so I'm trying to conduct this test and get as much done today as I can. This is part one of 501A testing. There will probably be about three or four more videos in this series. This is just a basic preliminary test. All right. So since the drone is the star, let's get the drone back into view. Hallelujah. I'm going to go ahead and get that started up. I'm going to go ahead and start recording on the drone. Okay, the drone is now recording. We've got 11 satellites on the drone and eight, nine satellites on the controller. So let's just go ahead and take off. Okay, first we're going to do a hover test to see how much control we have with the drone. As you can see, the control is right here. I'm not touching anything. And the drone is just hovering. Move it over to the left a little bit. So I'm standing next to the drone. I'm going to move it in front of me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on 2.4. I can feel the wind is picking up. So I'm just going to do a little bit of testing and then I'm going to bring it in and take it home and go over the footage and make the video. Let's just take a pan around, see what we see. Slower pan. It appears to have good control. This FPV antenna is not the greatest. It might be because I'm too close. Let me move it away a little bit. Okay, the reception got a little better when I moved it away. Let's take it up some. Let's look at the corn as we go up. So we can get an idea of how high we're going. Where is the corn, ladies and gentlemen? Where is the corn? There it is.
traffic, there's no cars where I'm flying. My reception is starting to break up at 268 meters. Let me hold it down soon. Okay, that's not working for that. Let me bend the antenna. Okay, 290 meters. Still got FPV. I'm going to need a better antenna. Okay, I'm at 309 meters and my FPV is fuzzy. I can't get it to straighten up. 324. Move the antenna a little bit. 325. It's not straightening out. I'm going to go a little higher. Mostly just testing. I'm bringing it back to me right now.
Now I just push return to home. So we're gonna see how that works. I just push return to home. We're gonna see how that works. Aha, uh -huh. I see it. So I'm gonna out of return to home. Well, it looks like you can't come out of return to home. can't control it you can't stop it once it starts coming home that's it and let's get out of the way and see where it's going to land I don't know if you can see that Shutting down the motors. All right, all right. As you can see, it came back and landed properly. I'm going to, I don't know how much time, I don't know how much power we have left. I'm going to go ahead and pop into the app and see if we got enough. Yep, we got enough to go up and do one quick high pan. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, drone division. So as I was packing up and I was taking a loose my antennas and stuff, I noticed that this antenna didn't have a dick. This is a male SMA. So it means that the 
the dick part of the s m a broke off and that's why i was having a problem controlling the h five o one a with this controller i need to replace this s m a there's nothing wrong with the controller there's nothing wrong with the h five o one a but the the little point in here that's supposed to be in here is not in here let's see if you can focus focus yep it's supposed to be a point sticking out that's why it's called a male s m a and there's supposed to be a point sticking out, but there's not one sticking out. And that was causing the problem with controlling the drone. And I've had that problem in the past with other drones that I use SMAs on. So this problem was deducted. So now I understand why the drone was flying like that. Uh, once again, like I said, I'm going to edit all the footage and get you all the information that I can get for you. Thanks for tuning in. Shalom.